Hello, cinephiles and cineasts of YouTube. I'm Bill Robertson, and I'm going to talk about another good movie I found on Netflix, Starry Eyes. something I'd like to talk about before I get into the review of Starry Eyes. Uh, the Harvey Weinstein scandal. I just started doing these movie reviews, but I've been a, you know, I've been a film fan for a long time. I even moved to California to LA for four years to be an actor. The Weinstein scandal really Kind of hits, kind of hits home, but with you know everything I'm I'm doing, like even even doing this video, the videos I've done. There's a really good video by Stefan Molyneux. He's got a great channel. He's a philosopher, and he talks about current events. And uh, I'll leave a link to his video uh, down in the description. But he talks about he's breaking up with Hollywood because of the Weinstein scandal, and I totally get it because. Uh, by going to the movies, by paying for your movie ticket, by, by you know, renting, buying DVDs, even even paying for your Netflix subscription, funds people like Weinstein to keep abusing women and men, just to keep the whole, like the term Hollywood. I was out there for four years, and I went out as a aspiring actor, and I saw a lot of these things that they talk about what's going on. Now I wasn't. I was on the lowest rung of the ladder in Hollywood. I was probably even on the step stool that leads to the lowest rung of the ladder, but still there was so many people in the same position that I was just hoping hoping to get to that rung, that first rung and climb the ladder of success in Hollywood and the desperation that, that that's involved, it's it it turned me off. I, I came home, I kind of gave up because it just took the wind out of my sails, seeing all the dirty, evil, terrible things that go on in Hollywood, just to get, you know, a little bit part in a movie. I know that that's how the game's played, that's how the industry works, but uh, Stefan Molyneux's video really kind of clicked with me. And why am I reviewing movies if I feel this way? Why am I promoting Hollywood and promoting people like Weinstein to keep abusing people and making money off it at the same time? And I don't know. All I know is that I love film. I just put in a big order for Criterion's 50% off sale yesterday online and bought a few, a few old Criterion films that I'd been wanting. Um, uh, I like to make movies, like if you dig through my channel you'll find uh, some, some little short films I've made here and there. Um, I just, it's, it's the art form that works for me. Uh, I've always kind of been an artist. I've started off just drawing on the back of my homework papers in school, went on to being a rock drummer for several years in several bands, and then migrated to acting and now filmmaking. and. Uh, just now just starting to do these film reviews and uh, like I said the Weinstein scandal and everything that's all the fallout has kind of shaken me up and made me rethink why I'm even promoting Hollywood films by talking about them or watching them even though Weinstein did what he did for all those years he also he also put out a lot of great content like a lot of my hero filmmakers uh kevin smith um quentin tarantino like a lot of weinstein pictures the, the pictures that miramax has put out and the weinstein company has funded and produced they've been they've been some of my favorites over the years so it's always a double-edged sword 
And I guess that's the thing in Hollywood. Like you go out there with your ideals and you find out that you're, you've got to sacrifice a lot of integrity if you want to get anywhere. Which brings me back to Starry Eyes. It's a very good little horror film. And I saw on IMDb it's also classified as a fantasy, and I, I can see that. Uh, but basically it's, it's a, a story about a young aspiring actress who is living, uh, you know, paycheck to paycheck at a job she hates and, and uh, wants to become an actress. And the movie is about her and what she will do to become an actress. And she resists some things at first, but she realizes that if she wants to do what she feels like she was born to do, be an actress, she's going to have to, to make compromises. She's going to have to uh, give up part of her soul. And that's where the horror part of the movie comes in. It's mostly a body horror film. So, you know, if you don't like vomiting scenes, uh, 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 peeling off of fingernails, uh, mottled dead skin, uh, it, it might not be for you, but what, it, what the movie says is very accurate. Uh, she's stuck between her, her roommate and friends who are all claiming that they want to be filmmakers and actresses and actors and, be, and work in the film industry, but meanwhile all they do is party. And then she finally gets an opportunity to audition for a semi, semi big film company <clears throat> and sees her chance there and decides that, you know what, if I'm going to, if I'm going to do what I came out here to do, be an actress, I've got to cut these friends loose and this, this job that's paying my bills loose and go for it. And I get it and she's not wrong, but what she has to do to get there is the wrong part. She she gives up her body to a Weinstein type producer and that's the gateway to stardom. And that's what she does. So <clears throat> if you've seen a movie that came out a couple years ago called uh, The Neon Demon, it's very similar, has a lot of the same elements same type of movie, kind of a fantasy, horror, uh, occult ties in, in Hollywood, and that's how you, you know, get anywhere in Hollywood is by, uh, by uh, succumbing to the uh, evil occult influences that, that rule the town and how it changes you, or, you know, basically you sacrifice yourself to get stardom. So I think... Neon Demon, I watched that on Amazon Prime Video, so it might still be on there, I'm not sure. But uh, Starry Eyes is on Netflix. Good movie, very good horror movie. Excellent movie, two thumbs up. Uh, and I guess to go back to the whole why am I doing movie reviews if I feel the way I do about Harvey Weinstein, uh, I'm going to keep doing it. I'm going to keep being a f little indie filmmaker. Um, if only because you know the, the what's going on in Hollywood is is wrong and it's going to take people like me and other indie filmmakers here on YouTube other places like Vimeo and and whatnot to uh, maybe maybe step in and take over or at least offer an alternative for people that just want to do this for art's sake and uh, not have to sell your soul and uh, commit ritual sacrifice in order to, to be uh, an actor or an actress, director, writer, whatever. So that's something else I want to put out there. Uh, if you're an indie filmmaker on YouTube and you've got little short films like I do on your channel, and you're looking for somebody to review them, send them to me. I won't be mean. I won't tear it to shreds. I don't care how small of a budget you've got. My, take a look at my short films. It's They're done on like pretty much zero dollars and, <clears throat> and a little bit of spare time on the weekends when me and my friends have time to, to get together. So send me, your, send me your films if you want them reviewed. I'll gladly do it. I would love to do it. Um, 
but once again, Starry Eyes, very good. Two thumbs up. Watch it on Netflix. It's streaming. Send me your films if you're an indie filmmaker. Uh, like, share, and subscribe, please. Again, my name is Bill Robertson, and I will see you next time. <laughs>